Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. If you're aiming to pass your DP 600 exam, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into case study two. Before we begin, please subscribe so that I can make more videos like these for you. Now, let's dive in. Litware, Inc. is a manufacturing company that has offices throughout North America. The analytics team at Litware contains data engineers, analytics engineers, data analysts, and data scientists. In their existing environment, Litware has been using a Microsoft Power BI tenant for three years. Litware has not enabled any fabric capacities and features. In the available data, Litware has data that must be analyzed as shown in the following table, and the product data contains a single table and the following columns. The customer satisfaction data contains the survey, question, and response tables. For each survey submitted, the following occurs. One row is added to the survey table. One row is added to the response table for each question in the survey. The question table contains the text of each survey question. The third question in each survey response is an overall satisfaction score. Customers can submit a survey after each purchase. User problems. The analytics team has large volumes of data, some of which is semi-structured. The team wants to use Fabric to create a new data store. Product data is often classified into three pricing groups, high, medium, and low. This logic is implemented in several databases and semantic models, but the logic does not always match across implementations. Under requirements, we have planned changes, where Litware plans to enable Fabric features in the existing tenant. The analytics team will create a new data store as a proof of concept, POC. The remaining Litware users will only get access to the Fabric features once the POC is complete. The POC will be completed by using a Fabric trial capacity. The following three workspaces will be created. 1. Analytics. POC will contain the data store, semantic models, reports pipelines, data flow, and notebooks used to populate the data store. 2. Data engineering POC will contain all the pipelines, data flows, and notebooks used to populate one lake. 3. Data science POC will contain all the notebooks and reports created by the data scientists. The following will be created in the analytics POC workspace. A data store, type to be decided. A custom semantic model. A default semantic model. Requirement for the interactive reports are the data engineers will create data pipelines to load data to one lake, either hourly or daily depending on the data source. The analytics engineers will create processes to ingest, transform, and load the data to the data store in the analytics POC workspace daily. Whenever possible, the data engineers will use low-code tools for data ingestion. The choice of which data cleansing and transformation tools to use will be at the data engineer's discretion. All the semantic models and reports in the analytics POC workspace will use the data store as the sole data source. Technical requirements. The data store must support the following. Read access by using TSQL or Python. Semi-structured and unstructured data. Row-level security, RLS, for users executing TSQL queries. Files loaded by the data engineers to. One lake will be stored in the Parquet format and will meet Delta Lake specifications. Data will be loaded without transformation in one area of the analytics POC data store. The data will then be cleansed, merged, and transformed into a dimensional model. The data load process must ensure that the raw and cleansed data is updated completely before populating the dimensional model. The dimensional model must contain a date dimension there is no existing data source for the date dimension. The Litware fiscal year matches the calendar year. The date dimension must always contain dates from 2010 through the end of the current year. The product pricing group logic must be maintained by the analytics engineers in a single location. The pricing group data must be made available in the data store for TSOL, queries, and in the default semantic model. The following logic must be used. 
List prices that are less than or equal to 50 are in the low pricing group. List prices that are greater than 50 and less than or equal to 1,000 are in the medium pricing group. List prices that are greater than 1,000 are in the high pricing group. Security requirements. Only fabric administrators and the analytics team must be able to see the fabric items created as part of the POC. Litware identifies the following security requirements for the fabric items in the analytics POC workspace. Fabric administrators will be the workspace administrators. The data engineers must be able to read from and write to the data store. No access must be granted to datasets or reports. The analytics engineers must be able to read from, write to, and create schemas in the data store. They also must be able to create and share semantic models with the data analysts and view and modify all reports in the workspace. The data scientists must be able to read from the data store, but not write to it. They will access the data by using a Spark notebook. The data analysts must have read access to only the dimensional model objects in the data store. They also must have access to create Power BI reports by using the semantic models created by the analytics engineers. The date dimension must be available to all users of the data store. The principle of least privilege must be followed. Both the default and custom semantic models must include only tables or views from the dimensional model in the data store. Litware already has the following Microsoft Entra security groups. Fabric admins, fabric administrators, analytics team, all the members of the analytics team, data analysts, the data analysts on the analytics team, data scientists, the data scientists on the analytics team, data engineers, the data engineers on the analytics team, analytics engineers, the analytics engineers on the analytics team. Report requirements. The data analysts must create a customer satisfaction report that meets the following requirements. Enables a user to select a product to filter customer survey responses to only those who have purchased that product. Displays the average overall satisfaction score of all the surveys submitted during the last 12 months up to a selected DAT. Shows data as soon as the data is updated in the data store. Ensures that the report and the semantic model only contain data from the current and previous year. Ensures that the report respects any table-level security specified in the source data store. Minimizes the execution time of report queries. Here is the question. You need to assign permissions for the data store in the Analytics POC workspace. The solution must meet the security requirements. Which additional permissions should you assign when you share the data store? To answer, Select the appropriate options in the answer area. Pause the video, take a moment to think it through, and then check out the answer. The correct answer for data engineers is Read All Apache Spark, which is the Read All permission. This permission is necessary because data engineers need to read and write data to the data store, as specified in the security requirements. According to Microsoft documentation, the Read All permission should be provided only if the shared recipient wants complete access to your warehouse's files using the Spark engine. For the data analysts, it is the build reports on the default dataset permission because with the build permission, the shared recipient can create reports using the default semantic model connected to your warehouse and this fulfills the analytics requirement mentioned in the case study. The data scientists would need Red All Apache Spark permission because with this permission, the shared recipient has read access to the underlying Parquet files in one lake, which can be consumed using Spark, and the case study mentions that the data scientists will access the data by using Spark notebooks. You might have thought SQL endpoints as correct answer, as they are read only, but it isn't because SQL endpoints do not support Spark notebooks. The next question is, you need to create a DAX measure to calculate the average overall satisfaction score. How should you complete the DAX code? Please take a moment to review the code and verify your answer. The correct answer is average survey response value and period because response value 
it is the only value that can be aggregated, and the customer key does not make sense, as it is merely an identifier and cannot provide a score. Period is the correct, as it is used for defining a date range, which is pre-calculated as a variable. You need to resolve the issue with the pricing group classification. How should you complete the TSQL statement? Take a moment to review the code and think and check the answer. The correct answer is view because it meets the requirement of showing data as soon as the data is updated in the data store. If you thought table because it should be part of the default semantic model, you are mistaken. Within the warehouse, a user can add warehouse objects, tables or views to their default Power BI semantic model. Therefore, the correct answer is view, as it displays data immediately after updates in the data store. A link is provided in the description to support this answer. Next correct answer option is a basic SQL case statement. Next question is, what should you recommend using to ingest the customer data into the data store in the Analytics POC workspace? A. A stored procedure. B. A pipeline that contains a KQL activity. C. A Spark notebook. D. A data flow. Take a moment to think and check the answer. The correct answer is D, data flow, because it is the best option. Why? Let's check the other options. Option A, a stored procedure. It doesn't make sense to use a stored procedure for loading the data. Option B, this option is incorrect because KQL is for real-time data. Option C, a Spark notebook. Although this could work, the text states, whenever possible, the data engineers will use low-code tools for data ingestion. Option D. A data flow might not be the optimal solution as we can use copy activity for this. Since copy activity is not given in the answer options and a data flow can get this job done and is low-code, the correct answer is a data flow. Last question of the case study. Which type of data store should you recommend in the Analytics POC workspace? A. A data lake. B. A warehouse. C. A lake house. D. An external hive meta store. Take a moment to think and go back and read the technical requirements if need, and then answer the question. The correct answer is lake house, because lake house supports unstructured, structured, and semi structured data, and in the technical requirements, it says semi structured and unstructured data which should hint you to choose Lake House. Let's look at other options. Data Lake could be valid, but it is not really a concept that we have in Fabric. B. A Warehouse. It is not valid because it supports only structured data. D. An external Hive Metastore doesn't make sense as it is a centralized repository that stores metadata related to the tables, partitions, columns, schemas, and other data structures used by Hive and Spark. See you in the next video.